Yeah. The team yeah. is able to come back from um, a deficit in the second half, scores two goals following uh, Montreal's goal. What was the difference in, in today's match? Well, the difference was I set up the first half a little bit. You know, we decided to play in a 3-5-2 system. Uh, gave us, uh, gave us uh, uh, a different approach of, uh, of the game, also because the setup from the opposition to play against is a difficult system, also the quality of plays, but also uh, in what we can do on the ball in that system. Uh, I thought that we, when we had the ball, we uh, yeah we could play out well, we could keep it at times and, and use the spaces that they're leaving, which uh, which happened in the first half as well. Um, yeah, we played very compact, uh, also uh, because we played over here. The heat, humidity, uh, not being used to play in this heat as well. Uh, they are, uh, they're, they're, they're over here now for a while, so that makes it also difficult to, uh, um, well, it's not difficult to make decision. But the approach of a game is totally different than than how it is uh, when we're playing Cincy, for instance. So it's uh, it's it's been a good uh, first half. I think we were, we played very disciplined in what we needed to do defensively, not giving away too much. Uh, on the ball, we came out a couple of times very good uh, in transition and in creating opportunities as well. And, and certain moments we could have we could have been a little bit more composed on the ball, but uh, that, that's what happens at times as well. Uh, second half, we started a little bit slow. Um, you can see towards the first half, end of the first half and the half time as well, that the players felt tired because of the circumstances over here. And you can see that back a little bit in the start of the. Uh, of the second half, uh, they can they scored a goal, which uh, yeah, because we didn't come out quick enough, made the run into the box, and then uh, then they can use that space if you give them the time, and that's uh, that's why they scored. Uh, I'm very happy about how the team responded to that. You know, we made a couple of subs, came back into the game, uh, equalized, and then of course we uh, we kept on pressing for the second one. The team responded very well, created a couple of very good moments to score goals as well. Uh, after that, to to make the two one. Uh, and eventually we did from a set piece with Gustavo, which is uh, which is very good, uh, I think, for the team. You can see the response of the team was very good, very positive. Uh, you know, the players kept believing in, in getting a result, which is what we always need to do, which is very good. And uh, and at the end of the day, by working hard, even in even in difficult circumstances, uh, yeah, you, you get sometimes what you what you want, and that's uh, three points. And it's I think very good for the for the team for the place in this process to get these points because that gives us an extra boost in where we want to go to we will start with pat brennan from the cincinnati inquirer pat thanks anwar hi yop can you hear me okay yes hi pat oh, okay cool uh you just covered a lot of ground kind of beat me to a couple questions i had so i'll, you, I'll ask you about the 352 um what obviously everyone saw uh, how it worked out and it worked out quite well. What made today the day that you wanted to introduce that look uh, and uh, especially considering Montreal probably would have been expected to come out playing similarly. What, what was the calculation there by you and the staff? Yeah, because the decision is always made, uh, of course, by me and what to do when I look at the opposition in, in, uh, in how they play, what they do and against other teams as well. What you what difficulties you can have when you play in a 4-3-3 against a 5-3-2 or a 3-5-2 system. And sometimes by doing that, you end up with like the wingers as, as fullbacks as well. And then you end up uh, defensively with six in the back if they're doing it well. Uh, and that makes it more difficult as well to get into your way of playing and what you want to do. So at the end of the day, you're also looking at them. If, if we change it, how can we uh, make it difficult for them and also come out very dangerously? And then that's how I uh, base my uh, yeah, my, my decision making, basically, in, in, in looking at the opposition. Uh, we also look at the squad, at the team, at the players, the ability of the players that we're having. Can we play this system as well? Uh, yes, we can. And that's why, uh, you know, in, 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 the, in the recruitment for myself as well, in bringing in players, you're always looking at players that can play in different systems uh, and it's uh, and that's what we can do uh, and that that makes it good for us to change it uh, at times as well so uh yeah like you're saying it worked out uh, quite well uh, of course sometimes some difficult moments because the opposition they have a lot of ability quality in that team as well but that's that's every game the same um after that we changed it uh, a little bit again with uh, we're bringing jürgen in uh, and 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 Harris, and then uh, and bringing Caleb a little bit more to the midfield as well to press a little bit higher at times, and you can see that they picked that up very well as, uh, straight away. And then uh, you go forward, you keep on pressing, and uh, yeah, they, they have a very big impact in uh, in the game at that time. 
because if you do uh, if you do that from the start that sometimes you can change because of the heat because of the the spaces and now you can sometimes like in the first half you can save yourself in what you want to do um hopefully having still uh, some energy left uh, to finish the game very well and that's what we've done we'll continue with laurel fader from quincy press laurel thank you congrats on the win today uh, you mentioned you mentioned the subs um here with Lacania, uh, not only getting the equalizer but he, he seemed to be kind of a spark uh, trying to create some opportunities there late in the game um what do you feel like this first goal can do for him especially um i don't know how much of, of it's in his mind that his loan period is coming up but what what do you feel like this can do for him going forward well, I think it's for you. For Jurgen, it's, it's very good that he scored that goal. I think he's always looking to score goals, uh, and when he needs to come on or when he starts the game, that's what he does. Uh, also in training sessions, Jurgen has been uh, has been very positive this season in what he needs to do what, and what he can contribute to the team. Um, and we we spoke about that. You know, he's uh, he's a guy that's willing to work very hard for us, for himself, uh, of course, as well. And. It always helps as as a forward, as a striker, when you're scoring goals. It also it, it always gives you a boost in what you want to do and what you need to do at times as well. Uh, and that it's not only for himself, but also for the team. So I'm very happy for him that he uh, he scored that goal. And of course, after that, happy for the team because he's done it. So it's uh, yeah, it's, it's it's very positive, and 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 hopefully this yeah makes it uh, at times a little bit more easier uh, for him as well to uh, yeah to score even more. We will continue with Tyler Snipes from SBI Soccer. Tyler. Thank you and congratulations, Yop. Um, Yop, uh, prior to um, Jurgen scoring in the 70th minute, uh, what was your point of view on the game? Uh, you've told us a lot about execution and how once the players really start nailing that down, better things will come. Mm -hmm. uh, were you trusting that the execution would come through and is that um, are you just happy that the goals came in that way? And then further, what's it going to take for this team to maybe start scoring uh, from open play consistently? <laughs> well, we, we scored from open play uh, other times as well. But it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a thing that, of course, that we're, we're very happy in, in, in how the team responded, what they've been doing uh, in this particular game as well. Even first half, we had opportunities to score. If we uh, Sometimes it's up to decision making. Uh, sometimes it, it's about yeah, that little final pass. Uh, sometimes, yeah, there's a lag in the, in, in the way of the goalkeepers there as well, and that's uh, that's what happens during games. Um, it's uh, and, and and you've seen it against uh, New York against us. Sometimes they score five times from them from a set piece, you know. So set pieces in, in football, in modern uh, modern day football, soccer, to all, well, all over the world, are becoming a very important part of uh, of playing games and, and about winning games as well. So we're very happy uh, if we score from a set piece. Uh, sometimes it's also nice if we win a game. From scoring uh, from open play, but also, uh, and that's a very positive. Every game that we, that we're playing, uh, we create opportunities from open play. The unfortunate thing, they're not always gonna gonna go in, and we also also do it even before the opposition scores, even uh, even in, uh, in New York. But um, th that's that's a thing that of course that we take with us that we're working on that we're training on uh, in the sessions, and and yeah, eventually that will that will come as well. But it's all uh, it's all about okay. You know, eventually getting there and getting that confidence to do it, it makes it a little bit more easy. That's why it's very important that we have this win today as well. We'll go with Pat Brennan. Thanks, Anwar. Yap, we, in, in the, the last couple of weeks, we've talked about uh, conceding goals cheaply. Uh, today, it, it didn't seem like FC Cincinnati gave away much of anything uh, cheaply at all. Have you experienced that as a gradual buildup to this point, or do you feel like something clicked this week after the Miami performance? Uh, how did how did FC Cincinnati arrive at the kind of defensive performance it gave today? No, we, we still uh, conceded that one goal today, and of course we, we could have done better in that situation. But, um, but a lot of goals that we conceded were, were like easy goals, and, and, and it's all about for players as well, uh, certain players are playing, like I said, in new positions. That new new players coming into uh, into the team as well. So it's all about uh, for the players as well, getting to learn uh, new things and what they need to do in certain circumstances. And that's what we talk about. That's what I sh I show the players as well. That's what uh, 
yeah, we repeat on the games, that's in meetings that we, uh, what we are saying to them as well. And eventually, um, yeah, during the week and the training sessions as well, you, you can see as well the confidence in, in doing things is growing as well because players, they want to learn, they want to uh, become better, they want to have an impact for the team, not only on the ball, but also defending-wise. And, and that's, uh, that's very important that if you want to defend, that you need to do the basics right in defending, making the right choices, um, having uh, a good communication with each other as well. Because if you take up the right position straight away, that makes it easier to uh, to defend as well. So, uh, so that that's uh, that, that's a, a, well, an important thing for me to address to, uh, with all the coaches to the team, and that's what we're trying to do. And that's how we try to uh, to improve the team. But sometimes you can feel already certain things exist during training sessions, and you can see that they you can see and you can hear as well that the communication is becoming better and better. So that helps uh, helps out the players as well in what they need to. We'll continue with Laurel Fader. Thank you. Um, Caleb Stenko, um, I don't remember him playing center back in a while. Um, is that something you've kind of had in your back pocket? And does the 3-5-2 that you saw today, um, or the play from the 3-5-2, do you feel like you've gained some confidence in that system to use in the future when needed? Yeah, we can use that. Uh, and, and I think as a team, you need to be uh, flexible. I think as a player, you need to be flexible because you cannot always say, yeah, I can only do this and uh, I cannot do something else because then you're mediocre. Uh, I, th I think you need to be flexible as a team to, to change, to be able to change in different systems. And as a player, you need to do that as well. And, and I think by doing that, it makes it easier towards the future for a player as well and what he needs to do. Uh, and also if a player can make a next step, maybe for instance, to a different club or whatever. So I think it's it's good to have that in, in our system as well as a team and, and, and making up certain changes because you, there, you by doing that, you can change the game as well and, and making it more difficult for the opposition in, uh, in what to do. Uh, Caleb, um, I know and I knew already last season that he could play in a three at the back. I think occasionally he's done that for us uh, when, he, when he was in Germany. He, um, he played with three at the back. He even started his first... Uh, a game for uh, for the German team when he was over, over there in uh, the official game as a, as a, as a third centre back. So it's always a, a thing, of course, that I'm looking at. You know what what can players do? How do they feel comfortable? What can he give us in that position? Uh, and and that of course is is his ability that he's aggressive. That's his mentality, but also his quality on the ball. What he can what he can do. So sometimes that makes it good for me as well to make certain uh, certain choices. With that, we will conclude with head coach, Yapstam. Thank you, Anwar. Gustavo, could you just walk us through uh, what you saw on the play leading up to your goal? And uh, how did it feel to get your first for FC Cincinnati and uh, to have it be a, a big a big late winner like this one was? Gustavo, si nos puedes caminar un poco por, por el gol que, que metes, no nomás es tu primer gol con el equipo, pero un gol muy importante para el club. Uh, el club agarra su primera victoria. Uh, ¿Cómo fue ese momento? Eh, hola, eh, la verdad que me siento muy motivado por, por mi primer gol con el equipo eh, en la temporada. Espero hacer muchos más y darle muchas alegrías más al club. Y nada, el equipo se siente muy bien. Eh, lo veníamos trabajando eh, muy muy bien merecido por, por el triunfo que, que logramos hoy, porque el equipo se, se esforzó mucho. Gracias a ello también pudimos conseguir nuestra primera victoria. Yes, uh, I think more than anything, I'm, I'm just very motivated by scoring this goal. You know, it was a it was a good goal. It, it was a very important goal, and it was a goal that you know we had been working hard for. Um, the team has been working very hard, and um, I think it's good that we were able to capitalize off the situations and score. And and like I said, this is a very um, important goal for the club, and I hope that I can continue contributing to this team and hopefully score more goals down the down the line. We'll go with Laurel Fader. Thank you. Um, now, having two starts under your belt, um, how comfortable are you feeling in the system? And just uh, how would you assess your individual play these first two games for you? Gustavo, ya es tu segundo partido con el club. ¿Cómo te sientes um, jugando? Eh, ¿Te sientes más a gusto? ¿Y cómo um, haces tu... ¿Cómo has jugado? Eh, me siento muy a gusto eh, desde que llegué. Como digo, me han cogido muy bien, me han hecho sentir muy bien, como si fuera en casa. 
eh, y nada, eh, seguir trabajando, seguir adaptando más a, a todos y bueno, hay que seguir para adelante. Yeah, I have been feeling very comfortable. Like I said, since the very beginning, this team has been uh, very welcoming. They've made me feel like um, like I'm at home, honestly. And you know, now I just have to focus on keep working uh, hard and keep uh, improving every day. We will continue with Tyler Snipes. Thank you. Um, today was a different formation from last week. I'm curious from your perspective if that uh, made a difference in the result or if it was just kind of dealing with the situations as they came uh, kind of game by game. Gustavo, este, en ese partido el equipo usó una formación diferente. ¿Crees que eso tuvo un impacto en el partido o crees que más fue que el resultado fue por la manera en que jugaron ustedes lo, la emoción en el juego? Eh, sí, jugamos un poco diferente al equipo, al el planteamiento que hicimos eh, en casa, pero yo creo que fue el esfuerzo de cada uno de los, de los, de los chicos por, por querer ganar nuestro primer partido, nuestro primer encuentro. Yo creo que eso fue lo que nos motivó a, a dar hasta lo último. Yeah, I mean, we did come out in a different formation that we used um, last week at home, but kind of like you mentioned, I do think uh, this win is due to all the hard work that the team uh, is putting in. Um, I think that gave us an extra motivation, and that's why we saw results go our way today. We go with Jaina. Thank you. Gustavo, I'm wondering if you could describe to me the change of pace the team had specifically on the offensive attack after the first goal um, late there in the second half. Gustavo, después del primer gol, el equipo se vio un poco diferente, en, en un poco más rápido. ¿Qué cambio sucedió en el partido? Eh, sí, después de que nos anotaron el primer gol, eh, el equipo como que desmayó un poco. Eh, es normal si, si, si es un gol en el segundo tiempo. Pero el esfuerzo de cada uno de, de los chicos fue, fue increíble porque no desmayaron, dimos hasta lo último. Cuando conseguimos el primer gol, fuimos también a buscar el segundo. Y bueno, gracias a Dios se dio y nada, nos toca trabajar y empezar en el otro partido. Yeah, um, I believe we, we fell asleep uh, there in the first game and uh, the first goal for the other team. Um, you know, kind of when you concede a goal, it sometimes takes a while to get back on track. But uh, I feel like once we were able to get the equalizer, uh, things changed and we knew that we could find the, the game winning goal. We have time for two more questions. We'll go with Pat Brennan and then uh, finish with Laurel Bader. Pat? Gustavo, are you uh, surprised that it's gone this well for you so early in uh, in your time here at FC Cincinnati? It just seems like it's been two solid performances. And then the goal, obviously, is kind of the icing on top. But are you surprised it's gone so well so so quickly after arriving to FCC? Gustavo, llevas dos partidos aquí con el club, pero te ha ido muy bien. Has jugado muy bien los últimos dos partidos. Y hoy metes tu primer gol con, con el equipo. Um, ¿Estás un poco sorprendido con eso o, o esperabas jugar también desde el inicio? Eh, un poco sorprendido, sí, por lo que era mi, mi primer paso por, por el exterior. Pero como dije al principio, el equipo me hizo sentir muy cómodo, como si fuera en casa. Eh, gracias a ello pude dar todo de mí, todo mi potencial, todo lo que sé jugar. Y gracias a ello ahora se dio el primer gol y nada, ahora contento y disfrutarlo. Yeah, I am, I, I am a, a bit surprised more than anything because it's my first time playing abroad. But like I mentioned before, my teammates have helped me a lot to, you know, give me a very warm welcoming and they have helped me score this goal today. So I, I'm very happy with the results and the way that I have been able to um, adjust to the team and just very happy with the way I'm, I'm working with my teammates. And Laurel for the final question. Last week when Nick Haglund scored the equalizer late in the game, um, you guys weren't able to lock it down and, and Miami ended up scoring. Uh, was that in your minds at all today uh, after that first goal and then even after your go-ahead goal? And what do you think was the difference just being able to lock down three points today after scoring? Um, Gustavo, 
este, ¿qué fue la diferencia hoy en um, después de que meten, les meten un gol, el equipo puede responder, meter dos goles? Um, ¿Qué fue la diferencia que viste tú eh, con el equipo? Eh, eh, el equipo ha recibido el primer gol. Eh, cualquier equipo puede ser afectado un poco, pero el equipo respondió muy bien y respondimos muy rápido con, con el primer gol. Buscamos también un segundo gol y gracias a eso lo encontramos. El equipo, el equipo no retrocedió como, como no queríamos. Queríamos siempre avanzar hacia adelante y bueno, gracias a ello encontramos una falta y encontramos el segundo gol. Sí, creo que el equipo respondió bien. A veces cuando consigues el primer gol, los equipos a veces tienden a fall back un poco. We were able to continue fighting and uh, we were able to find. Um, After the first goal, we were able to concede a foul so that we could find a, an, oppor an opportunity. And thankfully, we were able to score. With that, we will conclude with defender Gustavo Vallecilla. Gustavo, muchas gracias. Gracias, amigo. Cincinnati Inquirer, Pat. Hey, Jurgen. Congrats on the win and the goal. Um, I'll just ask you about it. Uh, how, what, what's the feeling uh, now that the match is over for you and kind of Where's your head at having scored that? Uh, obviously, it was very important in the context of this game, but also big for yourself. I think the third that you've scored for FC Cincinnati competitively. So uh, how, how is that for you? Um, it's a great feeling. I'm happy. I'm uh, happy for the team, for the club, um, happy for the people involved in the club. And um, it's been a crazy game today, I think. They created a lot of opportunities in the, in the first half, and we got lucky in the first half and um, by the end of the day, we, we won the game and that's, uh, that's important for us, for Cincinnati. We continue with Laurel Fader, Laurel. Thank you and congrats on the win and the goal. Um, you've been coming off the bench the last couple of games. Um, what do you feel like your, your role is right now and um, how are you feeling just about your your status with the team right now? Um, if my role is being on, to start from the bench, it's, it's okay, you know, I'm, uh, I'm okay with it. Um, I think the coach, the, the coach made, makes the, the first 11 and I have to respect that and that other players on the bench have to respect it. And if he makes other choices, we all have to be ready. And um, I think that's the attitude of all the players, bench or not bench player. So I, I respect the, the situation. I respect the choices of the of the coach. We will continue with Tyler Snipes. Yeah, um, Jurgen, congratulations, as others have said. Um, if you can be selfish for a moment, do you hope that this does lead to consideration for more minutes and hopefully more starts for you? Um, I don't know. It's be saucy. I don't. I don't make the first eleven. I can only really like do whatever in my power on the field. And I think I showed it today. Um, but like I said, it's, it's, the, it's the choice of the coach. And um, if he thinks I should start the next game, I start. If I if he don't think I should, shouldn't start, I don't start. So I can only do what's in my power and that's to show it in the practice and during the games. And I think uh, I, show it, I showed it today. And um, but that's important. It's, uh, it's a team, everybody's involved. Bench player, not bench player, everybody's important. Um, so yeah, that's it. We continue with Jaina. Congrats on the win once again. Uh, wondering when you came in, you seemed to bring a lot of energy and a change of momentum specifically on the offensive side. So what was your mindset entering the game and what kind of energy do you think you brought out to the field? Um, I mean, like always, I didn't change anything or, or whatever about my mindset or energy. I think I bring, I always bring energy and um, I'm, I'm always positive and um, it's hard like to get in the field from the bench when you're like one zero down and you have to create something. And um, and today I created some opportunities. The whole team created opportunities. Um, so I'm happy, like I said, for myself, of course, for the team and for everybody involved in the club. We have time for two more questions. We'll go first with Pat Brennan and then finish with Laurel Fader. Pat. 
Yeah, Jurgen, you're obviously we're entering uh, a period of uh, weeks remaining left in your loan period. Does that does that affect your mentality in a situation like this where you're coming on in the second half and maybe it feels like there's a limited amount of time to uh, make an impression? To, is that affecting the mentality at all for you? Um, no, not really. I mean, I always give 100 percent and some games that work out, some games it doesn't. I think the last game when I came in against uh, Miami, it didn't. And today it did. So I think I always give 100%. I'm always positive. And um, it doesn't matter contract or whatever. That's not very important. You will finish with Oral Fader. I don't think FC Cincinnati has actually ever gotten a win um, coming from behind well in, in MLS. Um, how good does it feel to just be able to have an impact on a result like that today? Um, yeah, good. Um, like I said, I'm happy for myself, uh, happy for the team. It's always hard to come back from a, from a, going down 1-0. Um, but today we show class, we, sh we show character. And um, I think for us, we have to continue like this and hopefully we can score the first goal in like the next game <laughs> instead of uh, to chase the other team. And um, but yes, it's a great day. It's a great match for us. And I think everybody's happy in the club, outside of club, the fans. And um, I think we deserve the match after so many losses and being unlucky in the games, previous games. And um, finally, the luck is on side today. So I'm happy for the team, happy for the club, happy for the fans. And um, I'm happy we bring back the three points to Cincinnati. With that, we will conclude today's post-match press conference. Thank you very much for your time, Jurgen. Thank you.